hi friends good morning my name is vikramjit singh and welcome to my channel education just ahead in this video i am going to explain you about what is fstab file what are the parameters available in fstab file and how we can use that parameters fstab file is a plain text configuration file that we can open in any editor and that contain the information about all the partition and devices like storage devices available in the linux so during the booting of the system the system will automatically read the fs tab file and will mount all the partition all the devices available under slash etc slash fs tab file so here i'm going to show you from where you can see the content of the file cat slash etc slash fs tab file it is slash etc is the name of the directory where this fs tab file is located and the full path is cat slash etc slash fs tab file so here you can see that these are the devices which is mounted on the swap on the root and this device is mounted on the swap so here i am going to mount a partition and will show you how you can mount it permanently in the fs tab file so that when the system reboot and automatically the system will read the fs tab file and mount the partitions available in the fs tab file so here i'm going to open the file with the help of vi editor so here we have to come at bottom so first of all i have to mention slash dev slash sda like the name of the partition that you want to mount here i am going to write slash dev slash sda 5 the name of the partition that you want to mount like here and second one is the mount point mount point is nothing it's just a blank directory on which we will mount our partition so that you can easily access the data of the partition from that mount point it can be slash mnt it can be any of the directory suppose that if there is no any, di any uh, directory like here i am going to create a directory mount point so here i can choose here i can write mount point it can be any directory next is mount point the name of the directory from where from where you can access the data of the partition next one is the file system this is very important next one is ext4 is the file system the type of the file system if you are using rcl7 that it will be ext4 if you are using rcl6 then it can be ext3 it may be change depend on the operating system suppose that you are going to create a swap partition swap file that then it will be a swap file system next one is the default defaults it will uh, just a moment let me write down here defaults contain the default value contains the 
default default value next one is zero this zero means that do you want to keep the backup do you want to keep the dump of the file system if yes we have to make it enable with the help of one and if no then we have to make it disable with the help of zero and next one is zero once again this zero means do you want to perform the file system check on this file system if yes make it enable with the help of one and if no then make it disable with the help of zero so here i'm going to route uh, here i'm going to write dump if enable then make it like one and if disable then make it like zero and next one is file system check if enable then one if disable then zero it's totally up to you do you want to keep the dump or do you want to perform the file system check on the file system if yes we have to enable it with the help of one and one if you want to disable it then make it with the help of zero and zero friends these were the options that we use in the slash etc slash fs tab uh, slash etc slash fs tab file i hope it will be very easy to understand for you if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment and if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching my video thank you have a nice day bye bye